What's up YouTube, it's NG and I'm back and I'd like to share with you a feature you may not know about the LG V60 ThinQ 5G. Uh, this uh, device here, this super device, is completely compatible with smart pens. Now it's not a feature that they advertise much for some reason, actually I don't think they advertise it at all. Uh, I saw a few uh, videos online and I saw a few articles that uh, brought it to my uh, attention and being that I have the device I decided to try it for myself and um, I haven't done it yet I just got my pen so let's share in this ex experience together now when you uh, sync the pen uh, you get a uh, splash page that pretty much lets you know, yes, this device is compatible with the pen that you have. So when you do this, boom. I haven't even gone past this page yet. So it says here, stylus pen, use your stylus pen with your phone. You can draw, write naturally with it, take notes, draw on pictures, and sketch. You can also customize the pen key to quickly open an app or feature. Uh, now, there's screen memo much like my note 8 uh, when you I think you tap the button you can write and draw naturally with the pen take notes while watching videos that's neat or sketch thoughts and ideas okay to open screen memo press the pen key or go to the pop-up menu I guess there'll be a menu button on the home screen on the text input window try writing with the pen Go full screen with text input to have more space in writing. Oh, so when you add the other screen, the entire device becomes one giant uh, tablet for you to compose whatever you're trying to do with the, the pen. When writing with uh, your hand, tap the key to use Swift text. Okay, okay. And just, just like that, we have the pen. And now, if you can see it here, uh, I don't know if you can, but a little cursor does appear on the screen now with the pen. Now, when I press the button, I'm, I'm not sure what's going to happen, if anything. Uh, not, not that when you, you press the pen, let's see, Swift key. But the pen is writing. Let's see. Uh, Early pen settings. What do we have? Uh, pen. Pen shortcuts. Okay. Memo preview pop. Pen pop up shortcut. New memo. Gift. Draw. Swift text. Screen memo. Okay. Okay. So you have a bunch of stuff here that the pen can activate a coloring book memo gif capture draw chat I don't think I'll ever use the gif gif capture I might use the, the coloring book though let's turn on let's turn off gif capture and let's do coloring book instead And key shortcuts, okay. And B. Screen memo. Let's see, it says here access an app or feature with the pen key. When in memo, you can erase something by holding down the pen key to change the tip to an eraser. Press A. Press B. Pen pop. Hold down B. Pen. Settings, hold down A. Huh. Well, I could pick something. Okay, so if that's the case, so it says hold down or press A for screen memo. What else do we have here? Memo preview, drawing sound, ballpoint brush, highlighter. There's a lot of options for the use of the pen. 
I mean, I haven't really delved into the options of the S Pen that much now that I think about it. But I wouldn't be surprised if this had more options than the S Pen. And the fact that they didn't uh, use this as a selling point for the device is really, really questionable. Because as it stands, this device overall is better than a Note. It's cheaper than the Note. It has, from what I see, all of the basic pen functionality and maybe then some of the Note. And it has headphone jacks and additional extra screen space. That is something to think about when you are trying to make a buying decision as to which device you might want. Because that's a lot. Huh. Well, I want to drive this and put in the battery light. I'm, I'm not getting the pen functionality with this. It is hold B, hold A. I am getting the little note, but I'm not getting the. Let's figure. Let's figure that out. All right. I think I figured th this out. You need to at least have the pen close enough to the screen that it registers that it's there. When you press the button, boom. Screen. Memo, write this, that, and everything else. Oh, and it sounds so nice. Let's see what it is. We can change. Uh, why not? It's black. Let's get the eraser. Oh, and it's almost one to one. The it kind of follows behind it. Can you, I don't know if you guys can see that. Well, that's actually really good. Let's see if we change, go back to pen, hit that, change the size, go to a nice yellow perhaps. Let's, let's see how this fares. There it goes. This is really nice. If you can't even switch to the eraser without having to touch it, I don't know. Ooh. Hey, this thing brought up notes from I don't even know when I wrote these notes. Maybe on the V20. Wow, this thing brought up notes from my V20. That's great. See? They, they know what they are doing from the V20. That's nuts. Look at that. V20 versus S9. <laughs> this has always been my thing, people. I just might be getting into it now, but I've always been a phone nerd. Go figure. Yeah, and that sound it, it it makes when you're doing the writing is really good. It's wonderful. It sounds really good. You can change the transparency of what you're writing, change the type of pen you want to use. And it really gives you that all auditory hint that you are actually using an actual pen. And this allows you, I guess, to switch. Go back to, to what you're doing to use the phone. Then you, you can always go back to, oh, really well done. Really well done. You, you press that. And boom, you can go back into use of the phone to, let's say, let's see if I press that, 
Yeah, it's still good. You can go back to drawing what 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 you were drawing. And uh, so you can pause your little doodle sketch, read up on some. Oh, that's of interest. PS Five, blah 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 blah. Then when you're ready to get back, get back to it, you press the little button, and you're good to go. Right back where you were. Yeah. That's really nice. Very nice. See, what else do we have here? So you can close that out. When you press the button here, you, you press the back button. It brings up your current notes. What is this note? Deal Flicks. What did I buy? November 18th, 2016. Belmore Playhouse. I must have oh, I took the family to uh, the movies. I got the deal. It was $77. I got the deal for 50 bucks. <laughs> wow. You really need to be careful when doing these things. Because it... Why? Why? I, I mean... Oh. And I got the... Yeah. That's the pen menu. I must, I must have held the button. So you press that. You go there. And when you hold it... It, it brings you to the pen menu. I have to say, the my purchase of this device is uh, great. Man. I mean, I feel no guilt buying this device. Um, I waited for it. I knew LG would not disappoint because as much as I like my Samsungs and you know I love my Fold always with me. There are certain um, benefits to having a large single screen device. Especially something as versatile and functional as the V60. Well, this was just a quick uh, run through of the smart pen functionality on the LG V60 ThinQ. Um, this device here, I was feeling a way about using it as a as finally a repla replacement for my tried and true Note 8. But now with the pen fun fun functionality the headphone jack the extra, extra screen real estate with the included uh, dual dual screen case this phone here is l looking to be the perfect replacement for my Note 8 and I'm very happy that I got this. Some other guys might be saying, oh, it it's, uh, doesn't have this or it doesn't have that. But for everything it does have, it more than makes up for it. It more than makes up for what it might lack in comparison to the more popular devices. LG has never let me down. All the LG phones I've had, I have really enjoyed. And I've only gone over back to Samsung because they are, without question, they are more innovative. They try things. And I like when they do that. And it piques my interest. But as far as my favorite phones, full functionality, how they use, how they work for me, I've always been a fan of the V series from LG. I won't say the G, didn't care for Frillum. But as soon as the V10 hit, that was my line of phones. The V's, the V series, and the Note line from Samsung. Until Samsung did, made the Note 10 and, you know, how but that went ridiculous. But it seems here that LG is back to form 
with a device with such a plethora of features, you would be remiss to sleep on it. There's this thing here. Is a beast. Anyway, this is NG and the LG V60 ThinQ 5G. This is what I'm into.